Welcome to GCSE Virtual Learning. There are so many difficult choices for families this year, and everyone wants to make the best choices for their child's education. At this point, you've chosen the virtual learning pathway for your student. While we're asking you to make a commitment to remaining enrolled in this program until the end of the semester, we understand that circumstances change. GCSE will remain flexible by providing families one opportunity to switch to on-campus learning. However, we are limiting it to one change because we have to predict and balance our class sizes and protect the workload of our teachers. Virtual learning isn't ideal for every learner. It takes initiative and motiva motivation on the part of the learner and significant family support. The expectation for all virtual students is that they must have daily access to high-speed internet, commit to at least one semester of virtual enrollment, schedule and complete mandated testing on campus, and this could incur between three and five times a year. The Indiana Department of Education requires that all students in grades six through 12 spend at least six hours involved in educational activities. This does not mean that all six hours will be spent online. It also encompasses reading, writing, and studying. It is also important to understand that learning is a process. Oftentimes, students want to just get to the end or skip or rush through the instruction. And when students are not successful, this is typically why. It's essential that all students take their time to watch each video, read each assignment, and take notes. At any time, if your student gets stuck, they can complete a help form on the virtual learning webpage. If students are struggling to understand the material, they will be connected with the GCSE teacher for after school tutoring. Parent support is crucial. Parents will need help to monitor the student's progress and encourage them to reach out for support when needed. Edgenuity is the online platform students will be using. There are videos on this webpage to help both parents and students get started on the program. Parents, please watch these videos with your child so that you can help them to better understand Edgenuity. Lastly, understand that just like traditional classrooms, students can fail a course for not completing the assignments or doing poorly on assessments. GMS virtual students will take a course in English, Math, Science, and Social Studies. They will also be offered one elective course. Students may select one of the following electives each semester. They should complete the Google form on this webpage to register for their selection. Students who are enrolled in honors classes will be assigned to the class one grade level above their grade. Students with IEPs will have the support of special education teachers and all accommodations will still apply. It's important to note that virtual students have all access to the same resources that on-campus students have access to, like school counselors, library books, speech, occupational and physical therapy, and after-school tutoring. High school students will be assigned courses based on their four-year graduation plan. While traditional students typically complete seven courses simultaneously, virtual students will be given two to three courses to complete before adding additional courses. High school virtual students may still attend Area 30, participate in AP or dual credit courses, so speak with your school counselor about all of your options. If you experience technical issues, please notify your teacher. If it is an issue that he or she cannot fix, you'll be asked to email tech support. If the device needs to be repaired, you'll be asked to drop it off at central office. The device will be repaired and ready to be picked up within one business day. After you finish watching this video, complete the Google form entitled Orientation Checklist. Once this is completed, the virtual advisor or teacher will email the Edgenuity login and password to the student's school email account. Middle school students complete the Google form entitled Middle School Elective Course Selection to choose your student's elective course. Again, this is for middle school students only. Make sure to explore all of the video tutorials and resources that are available on this page before logging into Edgenuity. Finally, help your student get organized, provide pencils, notebook paper, but most importantly, a designated work area free from distractions. Keep in constant contact with your virtual supports and have a great first day.